Too much to really say about floor 14. It's, I mean, really, I mean, even though I finished it in about almost a little under six minutes, I mean, looking at it really, if you're not playing as 100%, it's really not that long of a map. It, it's kind of short. There's not really too much, you know, to go off, but it's not really, you know, that confusing compared to like what floor 14 was in Shabs 2000, which, you know, this floor kind of similar is in some ways with a long blue hallway, but it is kind of a uh, uh, toned down. The only tough part really about this map, besides a couple of rooms with, you know, a lot of enemies, is the, um, is the maze leading up to the gold key. That can be a little bit tricky in terms of the fact that, like Floor 14 with the one maze, um, there is, you know, two ways to get into it. And obviously, usually one of the guards, like, right by the entrance door, will most likely, you know, walk out there and will, you know, try to go in to the other door. So that guard can definitely, you know, whether it's a Shustafel on one end, or if it's the mutant on the other end, it can float out into the hallway and try to, you know, come from behind you. So just be aware of that. Other than that, again, it's really not too difficult of a map. I mean, I do kind of wish, though, I don't, know, I don't know if it's just me, I was not a fan of how they placed this, like, the golden key like, in, like, the middle of, like, you know, like, you know, the walkway, like, you know, like, have, like, like an alcove or something like that to go to. A little, little nitpick, not a bad map again, but kind of short. We'll on out to 4.15 in the next video. And until then, guys, I am the Club of the Man, 1993, and I'll catch you all then.